Represented by Sony Blade and Shane McMahon, being represented with so, uh, Joe Smiles Joe in a TLC match. This is a this is a, a, a battle of battles between sub club members here. It's very true. It's very All true. Right. Normally on a team, Sonya and Joe. Yeah, Smiles I've Joe. been watching this this sweets stream thing, Dead by Nighttime, uh -huh. and uh -huh. they do this thing where they play along with uh, the sweets people. And Joe and Sonya team up, and they buy a lot of cards and make life hell for the, the people streaming. That's exactly right. That's exactly Sounds right. awful. Normally a, a, a good tag team, but in this case, it's every man for himself. Uh, Sonya against Joe Smiles Joe. And in that regard, who do you pick to be the victor? Well, we've seen, this is I mean, obviously this is a TLC match. We've seen Shane McMahon have great success. But we've also seen Chugs have great success. Indeed. Uh, currently, uh, the Creed Invitational is going on, where Chugs is in the final for the Creed Invitational. Wow. So, and now he's in the Battle of the Beast. Just a quite the busy athlete. That's right. A very popular pick. A very popular pick to be a part of uh, anything sweets related. Uh, he was also oh. in the sweets in the bank, um, which Queen's Court, Queen's Court ended up winning. Um, but Chugs was represented in the sweets in the bank. As well as Battle of the Beasts, as well as the Creed Invitational, uh, Chug's a very popular pick here uh, among the Suites Sub Club members. So Queens Court did win the Suites in the Bank. That's right. As always, waiting in the wings uh, with the briefcase uh, on top of that three hundred dollars that she already won, uh, and waiting to cash in at an opportune time. And that opportune time can be at any point. For example, during Battle of the Beasts five. It could be. It could be the first oh time goodness. we see Just Rick sixty four. Oh my goodness! Uh, could be right there. She could take that first spot. Uh, in in the the opening contest here, or if Justrick somehow moves on, she could take a spot in the quarterfinals. She could then take a spot in the semifinals. If he somehow makes it to the finals, she could take a spot in the finals. She could make it a triple threat. She could cash in after the finals when the uh, the opponents are weakened. A million things could happen. I am terribly confused. That's what happens. That's what happens. Oh, and already Shane's got his hands on the briefcase. Get up there. Which, as we know, nothing is in that briefcase. Oh. Mm. Oh, vicious electric chair. Other than, if anything, a piece of paper that says you win, you advance onto the quarterfinals. But big TLC match here. I see. So, so what are we looking at? What are our, our two finishing maneuvers, as we've talked about, making a world of difference? Chugs uh, obviously has that, uh, that Panama Sunrise, that Canadian-like destroyer. That's right, that's and, right. Uh, as well as the last shot, uh -huh. uh, I believe a shiny wizard variation. Shane McMahon, what does he bring to the table? Shane, he brings a mentality that does not exist in many others. He brings a level of creativity and lunacy, mm. if I dare say. The man is not afraid of anything. He's not afraid to sacrifice his body or anyone else's for that matter. You combine that with ladders, chairs, and tables. I think Shane McMahon is highly unpredictable in this contest. Anything for that man is possible. And this is where I have to question. So you said lunacy. You said he has no fear. Um, is that is that 
no fear or is it a uh, lack of judgment? Maybe lack of maturity, knowing when to, uh, you know, take a risk, knowing when to take the safe win. Uh, what, do you see a difference there? Absolutely. I think it's a 50-50 gamble, but I also think Shane is very well aware of that. That is true. That is true. So, and as you can see, also, uh, very well, uh, you know, he, he can hold his own there in just a wrestling match as well. With the flying back elbow, jumping back elbow. Heard he learned that in Germany. Wow. Oh, here goes Chugs, though. Chugs, now we've seen him use no! that move. We've seen him use that move on several occasions. We've seen him win matches position. using that move. That's right. Wasting a little bit of time here, though. Big waste of time here. He can't you know what you have to do, Chuggy. To do. He can't decide what he wants to do. Inflict more punishment or, or go after that ladder. I'm not sure. Oh, and it's going to cost you. Mm. Big Saito suplex. There you go, Shane. There you yeah, go. Just... Anybody grabbing a chair, I am a big fan of. I'm sure. I'm sure. But Chugs, give me that. Rips it right out of there and says, no, we're not going to do it that way. Oh. Oh. Back and forth battle here. Chugs clearly going for something. And nobody, as, as of this point, I don't, oh, and another jumping I, I don't know if I can say that someone has a uh, big advantage here, despite, you know, obviously Shane on the ground outside and Chugs now going for a ladder. Well, Shane did get his hands on the briefcase once. Chugs has yet to ascend the ladder. That's true. But we can see that now for the very first time. Scampers up, and his hands are on it. Shane's got to get back in there. Nice elbow to the, the hamstring, it looks like. Still trying. Have you ever pulled a hamstring, Sonny? I've pulled several hamstrings. Almost so daily. You, you have seven hamstrings? No, it, 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 I pull it, it recovers, I pull it, it recovers, it pull it, I recover. Oh, multiple multiple pulls the within same, one hamstring. The same strings, yes. Interesting. Have you ever pulled a hamstring? i pulled on many things, Sonny, but a hamstring is not one of them. Makes sense to me, Lenny. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. You may have to edit that part out. Nope, staying in. <laughs> Let's get back to the action, ladies and gentlemen. We're live here, Lenny. We are live. Oh. This is what happens. Perhaps that's why they don't feed us. That's exactly it. The lack of professionalism is almost like the lack of judgment that Shane McMahon has. Oh, mate, no, not a, not a good time to go up when Chugs is on his feet. Well, uh, actually, maybe a good time because someone is falling off that ladder. Oh, no! Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh! oh! Onto the chair! That could be it. That could be it. Shane Chugs is get up there. not moving. Chugs immediately oh, up. Oh, wow. Hands on the briefcase. A swinging neckbreaker off a ladder onto a steel chair. I feel oh. like this is more than enough. Oh, Shane desperately trying to get Shane's to his feet. Stirring. He's stirring. In a ton of pain, no less. Oh, and he makes it up. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Ow! Oh, to return the favor. Oh! Ow! But how much could that have taken out of show? Oh, clearly not much. And Shane's scampering up. Chugs is now in trouble. Oh, my. Chugs is not moving. Crowd is going crazy. Get up, Chugs. Chugs slowly crawling. Get up, Chugs. Trying to pull his body up. Get up, Chugs! Wait, get up He's there! Got cut. Oh! Why would you just watch? Did he give up? Potentially knowing if he climbs up, he might take another swinging neck breaker off of there. Chugs decided to say, oh, go ahead, Shane. Oh my goodness. Go ahead, move on. Very surprising. Interesting matchups. Interesting Shane McMahon, moving on. Well done.